love the shit out of arcades. Arcades are fucking awesome. The unfortunate part is arcades pretty much don't exist in the United States whatsoever. And if they did, it'd be like a tumbleweed going by and shit and everything would be covered in like five fucking inches worth of dust. But arcades, anytime that I find them, I get all excited and run in and start playing anything that I see. Like, if there's a house of a dead machine, I will run in and play. As a matter of fact, last time I got to go on a big trip, I went to Oklahoma, and me and Billy from the Game Chasers played through the entirety of House of the Dead, the first one. That game's fucking hard, by the way. I want you to understand that, like, the first House of the Dead, like, if you played on Sega Saturn, it's really fucking difficult, plus there's tons of loading times on there, but the actual first game on arcade, man, that just beats the shit out of you. Holy fuck is that hard. Oh, man, but anyhow, that, that arcade was awesome because they also serve booze, so you go run around, like, play a bunch of arcade games and get drunk. That's awesome right there, but arcades, they're the shit. But the thing is, there's a town in Massachusetts, it's Marshfield, and guess what, for 32 years now, they've had a fucking ban on arcades, because apparently arcades are going to lead all of the children doing narcotics and having some kind of gambling addiction and drug addiction, and it's like, so well, I'm gonna get this straight. When I go into an arcade and I'm playing like Galaga or Miss Pac-Man, or I'm just like playing like fucking Ski Ball, I'm like, yeah, Ski Ball's awesome, wait! This does keep, it's a fucking eight ball coke, cocaine party, it's the 80s. And, and then all of a sudden just, <laughs> this is the fucking best thing ever. Now I understand all the little white fucking dots inside Pac-Man. Those are pellets. He's just having a good time, having a good time. But that's like what they're trying to say is that that's what it's going to fucking lead to. I'm like, you're, you're fucking kidding me, right? And they're like, well, sometimes they'll spend... 25 cents upwards of 50 cents on a single game obviously they have problems it's like there's so many things in the world that they could be doing bad and you're gonna say this is one of them but holy fuck there's all sorts of like little counties and cities throughout the entire country that have these dumb asinine ass backwards fucking shit heel logic of laws that still exist in 2014 and i can't fucking understand why but yeah, I just want to rain fucking logic thunder down on this shit, but, you know. Either way, it's finally, it, it had another vote, and they're lifting the ban on it. And it's kind of ironic. In, in 1994 and, what was it, 2011? I've got the news story right here. Uh, yeah, 1994 and 2011, they tried lifting this ban, and both times it was unsuccessful. Do you know how fucking stupid that is? Even in those years, like, just, just fucking think about this, but... Either way, this is a fucking win, but at the same point, it's kind of sad because they lifted the ban well after arcades have kind of died off. So uh, what I would like to see is to have one big arcade extravaganza blowout of epic proportions from like stuff in the 80s all the way up until current. Just get all this shit together and just have a big blowout and fucking celebrate. And as a matter of fact, if I live there, that's something that I would try to get together and that's what I would propose propose because that'd be awesome i mean you're gonna ban arcades but not video games that are inside the household which they have a lot more immediate access to it's just like you're, you're so fucking stupid but anyway i'm glad to hear about something like that because it's pretty nice it's just sad that it existed in the first place seriously a lot of the lawmakers out there i i don't understand how the fuck you can vote for the shit but we the individuals that are affected by it we don't get to yeah land of the free huh we vote you fuckers in, yet there's shit. Ah, oh, that's, that's a different topic for a different day. But either way, this is something for celebrations. So celebrate good times. Come on. Da, da. Yeah, I don't know the rest of the words to the song. But anyway, so good news is good news and gets a thumbs up from me. Either way, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on.